Hey. Tears in my eyes, one more flash of that. Ice cream, girl, when it's hot outside. Yeah. Party like it's 99. Yeah. Yeah. Hit me, baby, one more time. Yeah. Blueberry cool with banana. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. Maybe, possibly. I know I did. I had my daughter for a little bit. Saw some videos of her at a party, living her best life. And I was straight gaming, watching some Evo 2019. That was really good. I was supposed to go to the event, but because I didn't practice, man. I didn't practice enough. I've been on Call of Duty. So if I'm on Call of Duty for the last four or five months or since it came out in November, so what's that? That's a long time. And and I'm thinking I'm going to show up to a tournament, a world tournament in Vegas and test my might. It's not going to work. I'm going to get my ass kicked. You know, like I'm I'm decent, you know, but I'm not I'm not competition worthy on the games that I wanted to compete in. But nevertheless, it was a great great weekend for me i haven't been doing as much podcasting i'm getting some new uh, equipment i'm gonna be doing vlogging shorter spurts you know i think people are tired of, of me ranting away for that long and i think i have enough stuff for my daughter to listen to when she gets older if i you know i have those long rants going on but i'll keep it short and sweet you know vlogging videos is a little bit harder process it takes a little longer to equip you know but anyways, but yeah, the one thing you never get told is when you're having these conversations with new women, right? I mean, women post all this shit on social media, and then when you engage with them, they're just not very good about it. And there was this one in particular, I forgot what she was posting about, but I think uh, she was saying how, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, and I was on my Ambien Roseanne kick. Oh, it, it, it was something along the lines of, uh, you know, women and men just kind of respecting one another and and valuing each other's roles. And and I was like, cool, you know, I get that. But it, and I told her, well, it seems like a lot of women want men to facilitate their lifestyle and be able to support them financially. And she and we so we got into a little bit of a conversation where she just says, you know, I look for a traditional man. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. And I said, well, you know, I I view relationships as kind of a, a partnership. So you have your roles. I have mine. We, we're emotionally and financially independent. We're, we're not depending on one another. And she goes on to just laugh at me, basically. I mean, she goes on and it was like, wow, you're totally clueless. You know, that's not what I'm talking about when I wanted a man, but you're clearly not a man. <laughs> she said i am not a man ouch trying to hurt my feelings there and i just i just brushed it off i was like hey you know no problem so tell me what your definition of a man is what that consists of and what what does she do she simply says look i'm not going to waste my time with you because i'm not trying to be insulted Okay, wow. I sent that over to my friend and he goes, man, what a cunt. <laughs> and I screenshot everything so he could see it. It's like, yo, this is not because people don't believe that I have these conversations with women. Like they really don't think that. And if you look at that woman, I mean, she, yeah, she looks good, but she's not something you would think as Instagram million followers. Takes care of herself out there. But obviously her vision of what a man should be is not what I was conveying and therefore she went to slandering and marginalizing me. And I think that's where the problem is in our society, right? Like where if someone talks about they feel they have borders, we should have borders in our country enforced, they're going to be labeled a racist. If you want universal health care for everyone and you want uh, health care to be a human right instead of a business decision, then you're liberal. So it's this is kind of how I compact that type of thinking and that type of mindset where when she knows she can't have a, a clear conversation and many people can't when it comes to their views and contrasting views without being insulted and taking it to a childish like slandering back and forth. Like she called me. She thought I was not a man. I'm like, OK, I mean, that's 
<laughs> you know, jokes on you, but okay. So tell me what your definition is of a man, and it's okay to disagree. But but she really went ahead and quickly went into slandering, not slandering, but just calling me a name. That obviously, if she knew me, understood me, she probably wouldn't apply it. But she doesn't. She doesn't care to. And this is where I always go back to always that with women, this is why I don't shoot my shot. Because when you shoot your shot and you're respectful like I am, they'll find any reason to kick you and make themselves feel good. And that let that person in particular lets me know that they've dealt with a lot of insecure men or deal with men that are very easily triggered and they have to watch what they say because all of a sudden they're going to be called a con, a bitch, a whore, whatever it is. And I get it because those men are out there at, and they do that as a parting shot. But if she would have saw what I was writing, then she would understand that I wasn't trying to go that way. I was just trying to get a genuine dialogue with how she felt. I knew this wasn't going to go anywhere, but at least I'm trying to understand how a person feels out there. But, you know, again, I mean, the people just take shit to another level. And all of a sudden, if you don't agree with them, then they're going to go ahead and kick you to the curb. And it's women like that where they don't understand when they're saying these things and they're not allowing for conversation or uh, differences to be discussed. They're only allowing the actors to be in their life. What I mean by that? Well, there's, in my opinion, a lot of men, they're going to go ahead and tell you what you want to hear. I'm telling you right now, and there's some women that got, I actually saw a post, now that I think about it, I saw a post of a woman saying, why am I going to tell you what kind of man I'm looking for so that you can act like that man for a few weeks until you have sex and leave? Boy, bye. And I said, you know, that girl gets it. That girl understands that men are going to play along to whatever it is you want, whatever it is you want to hear until they have sex. Until they have sex, then it's, then they'll decide, okay, it's just a one-time deal. It was okay. If they liked it, they're going to keep doing it and then keep portraying that and keep portraying that. But eventually, that acting comes to a halt. Same thing with women. I mean, both sides play, but that's basically the, the game plan for men in the beginning. Be the man that you want them to be and portray that for uh, however long it takes until you're in a relationship with them. Or until you're exclusive with them. And then that's when you start seeing the armor come down. All the true colors and all these things that women complain about after the fact. Because you went ahead and didn't understand that men play along to get the sex. To have your company. To have you be exclusive with them. But this woman obviously doesn't understand that. But she's probably in that vicious cycle of being with men for a year or two. And everything being perfect. And then they get dumped. And then, not get dumped, but they go ahead and and shit comes out and they don't like it. And then they end up cutting the person and then moving on. And thinking there's a plethora of men out there. Again, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. And the sooner you can realize that, then your whole process can change as far as how you're filtering out a guy. And that's a shame of it because women hold all the keys when it comes to that facet. I really think when it comes to average girl and average guy, the girl has the upper hand and then some. The only time I have the upper hand as a man is when I have a lot of money, when I exude a level of wanting to provide and wanting to, you know, all these things that fall down to that princess category. And I'm more pragmatic, logical, and I just want to kind of, and the thing is, though, with women like that, is that when you talk this way, the way I do it, as far as, hey, listen, you keep your house in order. I keep my side of it clean. We don't interlap those things. I'm obviously long term. If you're with somebody that you care about and you have feelings for, you will do things for them. You will uh, extend yourself re- via resources, via time, money, because you care for that person. It's no different now than if a friend that I cared about has something happen. We have a history, of course. That's a natural inclination. But what when i talk about these things when you know keeping your house and your room clean and, and you know we keep everything separate i think that's in the beginning stages so we have to have a period of okay let's fill each other out but don't dump it on the other person right away 
And that's what I see, the microwave mentality when it comes to these women. It's like, okay, you're giving me everything I want. You're telling me everything I want to hear. Here, here's the, let me dump off everything. And that's where I think that's not building an authentic connection with that person. It really isn't. And it's a shame because you, you get into the mindset like this woman where anybody that doesn't fit the wording of you want, you're going to go ahead and think of them less and cut them off. And I get it. I, I, you don't want to waste time because you have 100 applicants every day. You know, I I totally understand. But I think you can do it in a way where you can still be respectful and understanding of someone's way. Now, if the guy's being stupid, you know, that, and that's the way I am. I mean, the way I am is if someone, it, it, I'm going to be sarcastic and stupid if you're starting with the stupidity. So that's where I understand it. But if I'm coming at you respectfully, even though you may not agree with me, I think you could you should only give back what you're given. You know, just reciprocate. Treat people how you want to be treated. And when someone's being a jerk, you treat them as such. And you remind them, you started this. I always tell that to my daughter. Don't finish anything, just start it. And I, I just feel it's very fascinating that with these adventures never change with people and the concept and how conditioned women are to want a man to take care of them to do everything for them but yet they they don't feel like they have to sacrifice themselves or make any changes which is why I, i've stayed away from dating that's why because i see it, it, it it's like a, a level of entitlement from the beginning and expectations from the beginning and i feel that it's okay to to feel a certain way like it's okay to have those expectations but i think in the beginning you have to fill each other out there has to be a period where those heavy details have to be put aside and you have to just learn okay let's just kind of be into it with one another not expecting anything not expecting you know let's just kind of get to know each other organically to see if we can even become friends because i feel for you to have the the, the best relationships i've seen that have withstood the test of time are the ones that they're each other's best friends they hang out they have no problem that you can tell they get along there's a friendship base to it and that's that's what i always tell people uh you know my daughter that's the, out of all the shit that i ramble i always say look just find a friend find somebody that you mutually like one another in that regard as a friend and you can hang out with and you can talk about things because that's the basis of it now if you could have emotions for each other and you can have intimacy that connects and you guys can also look at things in a relationship world because remember friendship criteria is different than relationship criteria with expectations then that's when i would say sure go for it right but the basis the foundation is you liking one another to be around each other's company but everyone has different definitions of that like there's some men out there that just want their women to be a housewife or a trophy wife and that's it. You know, I'm not trying to be a best friend. I don't want you hanging out with me at my events. I just want you for my family things, for my kids and my time. That's it. And there's some other men that don't feel that way, right? So I don't, whatever it is you choose to be happy with, by all means, do it. But I, in this in this case in point with somebody, just diminishing or, and ridiculing how I feel and trying to say to me that I'm not a man. I think it's hilarious because you can tell that person is, is so shallow and hasn't really thought through or, or really understand or accept other different points of views other than hers. And that's what, you, but that's what I run into a lot in dating. But I think again, to her credit, I think when you're getting a lot of solicitations, that's when probably you have to filter it out very quickly. And you just have to be careful because, again, I mean, guys just put on a show. But, I mean, is that the way you want to treat people?